Welcome back to Fatty's Pub and Grill. Joining me now here at the stage at Fatty's Pub and Grill are members of Northern Illinois Women's Soccer. Women's Soccer doing a great job here in the Mid-American Conference. And uh, I'm joined by head coach Carrie Barker. We have seniors uh, Jess Orlando and Jenna Clausen. And ladies, thank you for joining us. And coach, I'm going to start with you. Uh, your team is on a five-game unbeaten streak most recently it had two big matches on the road you won this past friday uh, i believe at buffalo and then uh, you tied thanks to a late goal by uh, by uh, jenna here uh, against kent so um, again off to a great start you're four two and two in the mac and uh, not tied for third place and obviously the goal is to get plenty of momentum going as you're heading into the tail end of the season Yes, uh, we had a great weekend here this past weekend uh, going to Buffalo and Kent, and we've had a lot of success this year so far, uh, and this success has been a huge tri uh, tribute to the seniors, uh, and we, have, we still have three games left in the season, and we take one game at a time, and we look for more success later on this season. Well, you have, uh, you've had great success at home, the brand new uh, NIU soccer and track complex. You know, you've been able to walk into a great situation. This is your first year as head coach, and uh, you have some veteran players with uh, Jess and Jenna here, and, uh, and they've showed great leadership, but you have some young players, and everybody has seemed to mesh together at the right time. Yes, we've had a lot of people uh, that have contributed to our success. Uh, if you look at uh, this past weekend, we had a freshman that scored against Buffalo, but it's not just about one person doing their job. Uh, every, everyone is contributing. If you saw that, if you were there at uh, Buffalo, you would see that that goal resu uh, resulted from several different players to contribute to this goal. And it was a great team effort uh, that led to, to the goal. And then Jenna's goal as well on, on Sunday, it was a huge goal, a beautiful uh, header, uh, but it, there was a, a lot of sequences uh, that led to that goal. Well, Coach, let's talk to one of your stars from that game at Buffalo and, uh, and Jenna Clausen. And, and Jenna, you know, that was your first goal of the season there against Kent State, I should say. And, uh, but it's not all about scoring, and, and it's pretty much indicative of what this team is all about. Uh, there's great camaraderie, great chemistry, and it's just about being in a position to contribute when called upon. Yeah, you know, our team, we're always, um, you know, there's many um, people who score. There's not one, you know, uh, leading scorer besides Thea, who has like four goals. But, you know, like DJ scored um, her first goal of the season against Buffalo, and I scored uh, Kent. Jess has scored. There's Becca has scored. There's multiple people who have scored, and everyone, everyone contributes to the team. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to get two great wins this weekend and uh, senior day, so looking forward to that. And we'll move over now to, to Jess. And uh, you were a transfer. You've been here for two years. And you also have walked into a great situation because uh, you got some immediate playing time. And you were able to fit in very well with the lineup and uh, make great contribu contributions, particularly on defense. Yeah, I, um, at my old school, I used to play forward. And I came here, and I just wanted to play. It didn't matter where I was in the field, I just wanted to play. And coming in with Carrie, she decided defense was my position. And, I stepped up, I hopefully tried to make a difference with our team, and I think from the leadership I bring and Jenna and everyone else, it doesn't really matter what position you're playing, it, it's how hard everyone's working, I think, and that's all that matters, and that's how our team is. We have a mature team, and I think that's what's going to bring us to the MAC Finals, hopefully. Well, that's one of the things that I think if anybody goes out to a women's soccer match, they're going to notice the enthusiasm and the great camaraderie and how everybody picks each other up. And, uh, Coach, I think that's if you have that type of uh, environment with a team, you're bound to be successful. We have great team chemistry, and uh, everyone here, uh, please come out and see us this Friday because it is a great atmosphere. You can see that these players really do care for each other, and we worked really hard on the team chemistry. It's something that you just, you know, just can't say, voila, here it is. Uh, in the spring, we worked really hard, and then we, we came together on uh, August 12th, and we keep working every day, and we keep improving, and we keep getting stronger. Well, there's two great matches coming up this weekend. Uh, they finish up their home campaign with a match on Friday, 4 o'clock p.m. against the Red Hawks of Miami of Ohio. Then they'll follow that up on Sunday with a 1 o'clock match against the Ball State Cardinals. And Coach Barker, Jess, and Jenna, I want to thank you for joining us here at Inside Husky Sports. Good luck with the remaining regular season games, and uh, good luck in the Mid-American Conference Tournament. Let's get that championship. Thank you, Brad. All right, NIU women's soccer having a successful campaign in 2008.
Coming up next year in Inside Husky Sports, we'll introduce you to our Scholar Athlete of the Week. This and more when Inside Husky Sports continues.